Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. Happy tiny, tidy Tuesday, in fact. This is Sarah and today I'm gonna bring you along with me as I get some laundry done. I have actually just a few loads left. One of mine and my husband's, one of my younger daughter's, and one of my older daughter's laundry to do. I'm also gonna tidy up in my older daughter's bedroom. On this day, I had a couple of appointments to run and do as well, so I feel like my tiny tidying is gonna be going well into the evening. My younger daughter actually asked if we could change out the Sensies throughout the house, and she asked if I could wait for her to get home from school, so you'll see that as well in this video. The other thing I wanna to touch on today is just do a budget check-in. My husband and I have some travel coming up and we've had some things change in our monthly budget. So I just wanna do a quick check-in and balance everything out. As always, thank you to the sweet Sunday Dawn. Her channel is The Helpful Home. She organizes the Tiny Tidy Tuesday playlist each week. So if you're looking for a little bit more motivation after you leave here, check my description box below. My husband and I are pretty big Dave Ramsey fans and we've been doing the zero based budget for years now. Um, and so it's kind of on autopilot at this point, but there's been a few changes, so I just wanted to do a check-in before payday. If you're not familiar with the zero-based budget, then what that means is that whenever our paychecks come into our account, we allocate all of the money and put it into envelopes. So essentially, I go to the bank and get out a whole bunch of cash, put it into different envelopes that I know that we will be spending, and we also have funds that goes towards savings and any other sinking funds that we may have set up. I feel like I'm doing a really bad job of describing <laughs> this type of budgeting, but I'm interested to know if you have ever taken the Dave Ramsey workshop, if you are a zero balance budgeter, if you use cash or um, what kind of budgeting you do. Leave me a comment and let me know what works for you guys. my daughter's room i don't always clean it for her but on this day in particular i decided that i was gonna get her room straightened up and get her laundry finished for her she has really taken on quite a bit this semester in high school and she has a few extra things going on plus she got a part-time job after christmas and so she just has been kind of juggling a lot so I just wanted to do something nice for her and give her the peace and satisfaction of coming home to a nice, clean and tidy room. Plus, her bedroom is directly across the hallway from mine and my husband's. So really, me cleaning up her room is a win-win for both of us because her room will be tidy for her. And it'll also be nice and tidy for me to look at every time I go in and out of my bedroom. <laughs>
if you guys have been around my channel for a while, then you know that I do all of my laundry in one day. I sort of have my cleaning tasks broken up into just that tasks. So laundry is one of them. So instead of like a lot of people do one load a day, for some reason my brain cannot operate that way. And I just like to get it all done in one day and then that task is completed for the week. It's just something that works for me. I know it doesn't work for everyone, but I have also come across people that really like to do it that way. So I'm curious how you do your laundry at your house, if it's something you just do as needed or if you have some sort of system in place. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. One of the things that my daughter likes to do is to choose the Scentsy fragrance that we put in our warmers. So I have two plug-in warmers, one in the kitchen and one in the stairway. And then she has a big one in her room and there's a big one downstairs in the basement. And mostly I use these as night lights. I change the scents in them once a week, sometimes more, sometimes less. But the fragrances that I choose are usually really light because some of them are really, really strong. I like switching them out occasionally, especially if I'm trying to give the illusion of <laughs> clean home. <laughs> Uh, like sometimes I actually do switch them out after I've swept and mopped and vacuumed and other days like today I'm just gonna switch them out because we did a little bit of work and haven't had time to sweep and mop and we just want the house to feel fresh and smell good and quite honestly most of the cleaners and stuff that I use throughout my home don't have a fragrance so it is nice to have that little burst of a fragrance every once in a while. I will leave my Scentsy Consultants information down below. This video is not sponsored and I'm not a consultant. I don't make any money off of any of this, but if you want to check it out, I know they have a new spring lineup, so I'll leave all that linked in my description box for you if you want it. This day has turned into such a long day of tiny tidying. I'm just going to finish this last load. I have to get it out of the dryer and fold it. This is my older daughter's laundry. I think I started it a little bit later in the day than I typically would have, but like I had mentioned before, I had an appointment in the middle of the day, so it kind of threw off my whole schedule a little bit, but that's okay. I just want to finish up this last load of laundry and be finished for the evening. As I finish up here, I just wanted to say again, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you watching and commenting when you do. I hope you're inspired to get a tiny tidy or a tiny task done around your home just to make your space feel a little bit cozier today. If you aren't already, I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you around. Please leave me a thumbs up before you leave today and like I had mentioned before, be sure and check out the playlist in my description box for even more tiny tidying motivation. And of course, thanks again to Sunday Dawn for bringing us all together each week to share some tiny tidy motivation. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye bye